Hello there. I'm Corey Morgan once again, and I'm back with another video on how I cut my hair. Before we get started, let me just show you how it came out. You see all that? You see that? That's the end result there. Now let me show you how I did it. Right here, I'm making sure my mirrors are spotless. I want a fresh cut, therefore I need clear vision. These are the clippers I've been using for the cut. They may look familiar if you watched the video I did on how I shave. Now I'm just combing out my hair, just freeing it up from anything that could possibly or potentially clog my clippers. But if you know this song, Comment below the name of it. Now it's time to fade. And when it comes to fading, it's very similar to tapering. There's no set number of times to do this. You just do it until you're happy with the results. Once you get the results you want on one side, you have to turn it over and repeat those steps on the other side. It just takes a little bit of time a lot of focus, a little bit of discipline, some patience, but you can get through it with the more times you practice, the more comfortable you get with it. This is the alignment, and what it basically means is very similar to a taper slash lineup because I'm aligning my hair as straight as I possibly can all the way around the perimeter of my head. It's very similar to taking your car to a mechanic and getting the alignment service on your vehicle. Now we at the haircutting phase and this is what it looks like. All I'm doing here is cutting my hair and making it all the same length. I believe I have a number four guard on my clippers right now. So I'm going along the sides, along the top, all around the back and making it all the same length. You know, that makes it look more groomed, more maintained, more like I take care of my hair the way I like to do it and the way I want it to look, you know. I couldn't find a barber out there that cut my hair the way I like, so I had to figure out how to do it myself. And that's what this video is about, is showing you that you can do this too if you just do it. Remember what you do on one side, you must do on the other. Therefore, I'm doing the same process, repeating the same steps as I did previously in step six. I'm now cutting the left side of my head and making it as even as I possibly can. And now when I get it well happy with the fade, it's on to the lineup. Here we go. Now it's time for the hairline. What I'm doing here is making sure my hairline is as crisp and straight as I possibly can get it. What I don't want to do is push it back further than it already is. Right now it's time for the final inspection. What I'm doing here is making sure everything is the way I want it. I'm pleased with the way it came out and I can walk outside and show you the results. But before I get out of here, make sure you guys go to the comments. Send over some challenges that I can call my coworkers out on and have them do some videos on as well. Make sure you go and do that right now. Right now, right now. And I'm out of here. Adios, amigos. Now this concludes my video on how I cut my hair. Who knows?